Hey everyone, welcome back to Printer Tales. If your HP Office Jet Pro 8600 has suddenly stopped working and is showing that annoying printer failure error, don't panic. This error is actually pretty common and you can fix it at home without calling a technician. That's why in today's video, I'll break it down step by step in super simple language. So even if you're not a tech person, you'll be able to get your printer back up and running. So let's start with the first method. Method 1. Reinstall the ink cartridges. Alright, first thing, slide your fingers into the little slot on the left side of the printer and pop open the cartridge access door. Now, the printhead is gonna slide over to the left, just till for a sec. Wait until it stops moving and goes quiet before you touch anything. Push the ink cartridge back. Kind of like clicking them out of place to release. Once they're out, just pop those cartridges right back into their slots. Head over to the display screen, tap on OK and you're done. If the first method didn't work for you, no problem, you can give the second method a try. Method 2. Inspect for jammed paper. Open both the input and the output trays and see if any paper is stuck in there. If found, remove. Hit the power button and turn the printer off. Swing around to the back, unplug the USB and power cable. There's a part called the duplexer on the rear. Push the little tabs on both sides and pull it out. If you see any paper jammed in there, gently slide it out. Grab the duplexer you took out, press the tabs on top to open it, and check inside for jam paper. Close it back up, then roll and push the hard plastic rollers with your fingers to make sure they spin and move smoothly. Lift the printer off tray 2. Check tray 2 itself and remove any jammed paper that may be hiding inside. If it's still not working, something might be blocking the carriage path. Let's check out together. Method 3. Check the carriage paths. Turn the printer off. Remove the USB cable and power cord. Open the cartridge access door and check for obstructions or jammed paper. Close the cartridge access door. Plug the cord back in. Turn the printer on. Open the cartridge access door again. Then wait for the ink cartridges to come back into the replacement position. Disconnect the power cord while the printer is powered on. Lift the grey lever. Remove the printhead assembly. Note, don't leave the printhead assembly or cartridges open for more than 5 minutes. Look inside the carriage path for any obstructions. Reinstall the printhead assembly and close the cartridge access door. If it's still in the error mode, we should try cleaning the printhead. Before moving on to the first step, gather a syringe with a plastic tube attached and have warm water ready. Method 4. Clean the printhead. With the printer turned on, open the cartridge access door. Wait for the printhead to slide over to the left side. Take out the ink cartridges. Lift up the grey lever. Remove the printhead assembly. Fill a syringe with warm water. Attach the plastic tube to any nozzle on the printhead and gently push the warm water through. Once the nozzles are clean, make sure to dry the printhead completely before putting it back in. If you're still having trouble, it's time to update the firmware. Method 5. Update the printer firmware. First, ensure your printer is connected to a stable internet connection. 
Go to the printer display, scroll down the menu panel and open settings. Under setting, tap on printer maintenance. Here, open printer update. Now, accept the web service terms of usage. At last, enable the update the printer automatically option and wait for any firmware updates if available. If you like our content, give us a like. And if you want to learn more, subscribe to our channel. You can also visit Printer Tales or call us on the following contact numbers. If you think we haven't covered your printer yet, you can let us know in the comments section.